Hey guys, I'm Jack Monkey Bomb, and today we're gonna play some Clash Royale. So I have a really sick deck that I've been winning with, and I am in Arena 7. And I've been pretty stable in it, I guess. We can be opening this gold chest while we open this one too. Alright, so this deck features a giant, Valkyrie, Hog Rider, Musketeer, Minion Horde, Archers. You get the point. So basically, you should have all these cards. If you don't have the Elixir Collector, I recommend using the Spear Goblins, which I will use in the first battle, just to show you that you can have all these cards by Arena 4. And yeah, so hopefully you'll win with them. I also have pretty good success with this deck and this deck, so you can copy those two if you want to try them. So, let's get into the video. Alright, this guy, Smile, is level 8, so am I. Off with the hog, hog rider already, place a valve in there too. Just gotta slow him down a little bit, and then, it's just an easy counter push, I guess. Uh, I was gonna place that in, uh, let's just not really place anything, you can always see me like so. One hit. Right, nice. We might as well just go with the giant in the back. Is it friggin'. Who uses dog barrels anymore? Oh. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the hog and the minion horde behind our giant. Ooh. Tough hit. Minions will pretty much take it out. No hits on the hog yet. Oh, this looks pretty damn successful. And bang. Oh, takes out the wizard too. There's so much damage done. I mean, uh, yeah, I might as well just... I took a long time to decide that. Whatever. I swooped away his goblins and an easy 3 kill. This deck is so sick. That was one with the goblin, the spear goblins. Um, I could also put in like some barbs, but that'd be a little heavy. Spear goblins are so versatile. They're good on offense and defense, and they can turn into a good push, as you could see. So now we're gonna do it with the elixir collector, which is also very good. So I'm just gonna wait for him to play something because my cards, uh, I usually like to just go with the collector if you have it. Maybe should I go with the giant? Yeah, we might as well. Musketeer down the right lane for me. I'm just gonna wait. I might stay at 10 for a few seconds. Um, just place that there and place it out. Uh, this is pretty good now, actually. Come on. So didn't get much damage done, and we have a collector down, so. When he gets more damage than I thought we would. Okay, I guess we're just gonna send a hog rider in and get the arrows ready. Ah, oh, come on. Well, at least the musketeer. I love low life musketeers. Low life? That musketeers are low. Oh, well, basically, I like when they barely survive. Turn this into a big push in a second, even though the cannon's there. Giant can take some hits. The musketeer in the back. The musketeer's probably one of my favorite cards. It's just. Ugh, you can put anything in front of it and it just hammers. Oh my god, let's go for the 3 count again. 
Oh, my friggin' calm tower had some splash damage and the hog pushed him over a tower. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna target the tower. So let's two down here, and then we can send out the light arc and traders down this way. I will just take it. past. I mean, personally, I like to use pretty high elixir decks. A 4.5. This one's a little risky, especially if they have, um, there's a few cards that can definitely count in this. I don't know. Fuck. This deck's pretty sick. Uh, you might want to put a mini P.E.K.K.A. in for the night. I don't know, Knight's pretty good though. For only three Elixir, that's probably one of the best cards you can have. Even though I have... I'm still wondering if I should upgrade it. Because I do want the Royal Giant upgraded to level 8. Once I get three more cards. Uh, we'll just go into one with this. Actually, I'll just play with all the decks. Hopefully I win every single one. So you may think that the Royal Giant's a little OP, but, oh my god. Personally, I think that deck that I just showed you is a lot better than this one. And, I don't know. Hopefully I can take down his Royal Giant. Oh, he has a Sparky too. Wizard down. Oh god. If you uh, zap that and place arms around it. Oh, that's not around it. Please take it down, take it down. Yes! Right now, I think we should go with uh, archers and a Royal G. Get an energy. More damage on the fist tower than he did ours. We might even take it out. Uh, the barge will probably take me out faster. Could have probably supported it a little more, but I, I like to save elixir, especially. You never know what's gonna happen this game. That could be arrowed, but he does have a fireball. Oh, I forgot about the wizard too. Those spear goblins are doing damage to the tower. Put that there, even though the wizard might just destroy him. Well, I don't think he's gonna fireball, him, so we're gonna support the royal giant. <coughs> Get the zapper, and he brought in the smart game. Oh, this is just gonna cause chaos. That Royal Giant just set him up for a big counter push. Oh, 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 oh,
one too, but she doesn't really mean to. Well, we might as well. Everyone else is going for the kill. This one is pretty rough. Hopefully, just take out the knight and another lot of giant. And they also do that. Sound bad. Doesn't pick up another hit. Gotta get some more shots here. Some more barriers. Support removal. Didn't get my whatever's oh, oh no, the wizard is back. Oh my god, I didn't even get the spear goblins in. Take it down, take it down. Oh, nothing to do with it. They say you can't win them all. Oh, let's just go to deck three. Uh, this one's so cheesy. If they have like a friggin', it's pretty heavy. I usually like to place 15 elixir in one push, peck in the back, then balloon, then that, and then trying to get the witch in. So I think this guy's like 50 trophies below me or something. I didn't really look, but I know I'm pretty well over 2,000. That's pretty good that he places collector. I like to push the lane with the collector, especially with this deck. Oh, that's probably a poor decision for him. Because if you get through his tower and then hit the collector, that's on his screen. Carjo lined up over here. I'm just gonna ignore his screen. So he only has a wizard. That's not gonna do much to this. Oh, I missed the witch. Get in there. Take a step, witch. Yes. Get more damage on that kind of sucks. Musketeer. Well, took them out. Uh, we're just gonna wait until a few more elixir and then place a collector, unless he does something down the right lane. What I love about this deck is that you can almost always go for the 3 crown because you really can't get in the way of the Pekka and the Balloon. He plays the Collector again. This could just be a King Tower rush, whoever gets there first. I mean, I might try to defend if he does the same giant dog. Oh, and he will. I'll play so many... Mini Pekka. <laughs> side looks a lot better right now. If I can get the rage spell in there. Why do I keep this up? Why do I keep this up? It doesn't look like it's going to stop it. We did three crown. for watching please go and read subscribe and yeah bye guys